Conquer Informality, Mastering Informal English Writing Hello, language learners. Today, we're going to take a deep dive into the ocean of informal English writing. This vibrant and dynamic style of writing is often used in everyday communication, be it social media, texting, or casual emails. It's a world away from the strict rules and formality of academic or business writing, and it gives you a chance to express yourself more naturally and personally. So, let's dive in. Before we delve deeper, let's define informal writing. Informal writing is a style of writing that mirrors casual conversation. It's relaxed, personal, and can often include slang, abbreviations, and colloquial phrases. The primary goal here is to communicate effectively and comfortably, often in a more personal way. Informal writing is all around us. Let's go through some of the most common formats where you will likely use informal writing. 1. Text messages. These are short, quick, and to the point. Emojis, abbreviations, and colloquial phrases are often used. 2. Social media posts. Here, the language can be more casual and creative. Think posts on Instagram, tweets on Twitter, or updates on Facebook. 3. Personal emails. When writing to friends and family, the language is less formal and more personal. 4. Blogs. These often reflect the personal voice of the writer and can be conversational in tone. The fun part about informal writing is using collocations, which are words that naturally go together. These can be verb plus noun, adjective plus noun, or adverb plus adjective combinations. Examples might include phrases like, hang out, pretty cool, or totally awesome. Using such collocations in your informal writing can make your language sound more natural and native-like. To get you started, here are some tips to keep in mind. 1. Be natural. Write as you speak and use everyday vocabulary. 2. Use contractions. Words like don't, can't, I'm, are common in informal writing. 3. Incorporate slang and idioms. These make your writing more relatable. However, be careful not to overuse them, as it can be confusing for some readers. 4. Be personal. Use first and second person pronouns like I, you, and we. 5. Punctuation for emphasis. Exclamation marks, ellipses, and emoticons can be used to express emotion and tone. That's a wrap on our journey through informal English writing. Remember, the key here is to be comfortable and natural in your communication, and to let your own voice shine through. Practice makes perfect, so go ahead and start incorporating these elements into your daily writing. We hope this video has been helpful, and we look forward to seeing you shine in your informal writing endeavors. Happy writing!